in this playwright tutorial we are going to see how to enable traces so whenever the test got failed so we will add the more information about the test execution life cycle so these traces will be added into the playwright test report where we will be seeing all these information so we can see all what are the actions done metadata console data logs network details and also we can see the screenshots with respect to the time frame also so now i will go to the vs code and here i will quickly create a one spec file so here i will give the spec file spec file name as failed test dot spec dot js that's it i will go to the one of the test and simply i will copy the test and i will go inside the just now create a test and i will paste it so intentionally i will fail this test and we will check the playwright test report whether test failure traces are added or not so we have to modify one flag in the configuration file then we will get the traces added into the playwright test report now we have not enabled it so you will not find the any trace information And if you see here guys, so our test is getting failed. So we, it is not able to match the actual string and the received string. So this is the expected failure. And if I go to the playwright report, I will open the index.html report. And if you see here guys, so this, our test got failed. And if I scroll down, only we have the screenshot. That's it, right? So we will see how to add the trace information as well, where you can see lots of details about the test execution life cycle so i will go back to the vs code so you need to add the one flag called so under the defined configuration so you need to go inside the use object so there is the one flag called trace colon and here we can pass multiple values so if you have enabled retry mechanism you can keep this particular value otherwise so for demo purpose i'm editing it so simply you can select the retain on failure so if you are not enabled retry mechanism simply you can keep the retain on failure so that's it guys so this particular flag you need to update it in your playwright configuration file and then you can close it so here i'm using the terminal to run the test now so i will clear all this data that's it guys now I will run the this particular spec file fail test dot spec dot js file from the terminal. So here I will use npx followed by playwright test hyphen hyphen headed and then I will specify the our spec file name fail test dot spec dot js. So that's it guys. Now I'm executing the spec file and when test got failed right, it should attach the trace information to the playwright test report. So previously playwright was not doing it. We have enabled that particular flag. So now it will attach us the trace information. And also automatically it is going to open the report guys and if you see here guys so our test got failed so this is the expected failure right if i scroll down a little bit down so here you can see where exactly this test got failed and also you can see the screenshot and if you scroll down here so there is another section called traces right so let's click on the traces and if you see here guys in the top you can see the time frames based on the time frames you will be seeing the screenshot right so you can verify all the screenshot and also here you can see the test and the respective test steps so what are the actions it has performed here right so if you select any test and on the right side you can see the screenshot also so here i'm selecting the test step 
and if you see here guys there is another section action and before and after so before means here i have selected the very first step so before means so before entering this url so you can see the what is the screenshot of the browser so browser was very blank that's the reason you will be seeing the blank screenshot and once it is navigated to this particular step or once it is executed the first step you can see what is a screenshot like what was the web page displayed right so you can select the step and you can see the before and after what happened here you can see the respective screenshots also and also you can see the metadata so when test ex execution started and browser details and how many actions are done or how many events are done all those metadata you can check inside the metadata section and coming to the below section so here you can see the call details say for example if i selected one of the step from the test so it will display what what is the call made you can see all the call details coming to the logs so it, it will display all the logs what is what are the logs it has created during the test execution so coming to the error information so it will display all the error details what is the reason our test got failed and coming to the console so this console is very much similar to the what you see in the browser guys so it has all the details console details and coming to the network so here you can see what are the calls it has made and these two tabs you'll be seeing it in the web browser as well console and network network tab so all those details you can find it here coming to the source so it has the source code like we have written the test right by using the javascript so that source code you can find it here and also you can see the where exactly our test got failed also and also it is displaying the all the error information here right by using that we can easily track it and coming to the last section that's the attachment so here you will be finding the screenshot where exactly our test got failed so this is how we can verify the traces when playwright test got failed and also you can verify all these details in the playwright test runner as well in the previous tutorial i have showed how to use the playwright test runner so all these sections are available in the playwright test runner as well when you are running it manually any playwright test